Last week, the public was furious over the alleged proposal by the fish exporters to limit Nilo patch to only foreign markets. It is alleged that while appearing before the Parliamentary Committee of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fisheries, fish exporters forwarded this proposal based on the widening market of the Nile patch. The Association of Fish Processors and Exporters has clarified on the talk. And our sincere apology to all stakeholders and the Ugandan public at large. In respect to the comment made to the media, after the UFPIA submission made to the Parliamentary Committee on Fisheries and Aquaculture Bill 2021. I'm saying we apologize. So let's be clear about that. If we apologize, it means we do not want Nile perch to be reserved for the industry only. Now In their submission, they wanted the government to expedite the fisheries and aquaculture bill over 2021 to regulate fishing activities on Ugandan waters. The bill is expected to ensure proper handling of fish at landing sites for both local and international markets. By stopping illegal and regulated activities characterized by open gutting of fish, which causes losses to the government. This vice has left genuine local traders out of businesses and encouraged unlicensed traders who operate without any documents are not dressing where they sell the fish and the fish moss. Fish exporters have expressed fear ahead of stakeholders in the business stemming from the reducing fish species in the Ugandan waters. In this, processors and exporters have commended the work of the UPDF Fish Protection Unit. We need to, be, to cooperate. All stakeholders have to work together, including the UPDF, including the uh, fishers, the suppliers, the common man. We need to understand that the narrow path has to be protected. It should be noted that only 30% of the fish caught from the major Ugandan waters is exported, leaving the rest for the local consumption. With the proper regulations on board, the export percentage is expected to increase. Abdul Nasili Lubwama, UBC News.